In this video, we'll be showing you how to use the design optimizer to get responsive, better quality code, as well as improve your Figma design for better scalability. To activate the design optimizer, select a frame on your Figma design and click on this switch. It will scan through your design and recommend fixes for you. You'll notice three main sections. The first step helps you to clean up and structure your designs via best practices to reduce unnecessary elements for cleaner code. The second step assists you to implement responsiveness in your design by applying Figma auto layout and constraints. Finally, the third step helps you to adjust the structure of your design for different screen sizes. Each step can contain a few individual fixes. Let's cover what each of these does. The first fix looks for redundant groups of frames. It detects groups of frames which are unnecessary and do not contribute to the look or structure of your design. This helps to keep your code shorter and cleaner. For each suggestion, you can click the View in Figma button to locate the layer. Notice here that we have many layers of nested groups which are not contributing to the design. Click on the green button to apply the fix and you'll notice that the group has been removed. You can also click on the cross to ignore the fix or multi-select for bulk actions. The next fix converts groups into frames. This is useful as frames have important properties for responsiveness and it sets us up to apply auto layout in the future steps. Similarly, you can click view in Figma to locate the layer. Next, simply click on the green button to apply the fix. You'll find now that the group has been converted into a frame. Go ahead to multi-select for bug actions or simply click on the fix all to accept all suggestions. All of the groups have now been converted into frames. The next fix helps you to convert and remove images and rectangles that have been used as backgrounds into background image fill for the frame. This helps to provide cleaner code with fewer layers. In this example, you can see that this frame contains an image. And by clicking on Fix, you'll see that the image layer is now removed. And the properties such as the image fill and border radius have been transferred to the parent frame. This fix guides you to organize and structure your frames to make it ready for auto layout, which helps you to get responsive Flexbox code. The goal is to split your design into individual rows or columns with consistent gap and alignment. First click on the green button and you'll be shown a diagnosis for your frame. In this case, we've found three possible issues. By looking at the design, we can identify that there are multiple rows. This can be one row, for example, and this can be another row. And click on the multiple rows or columns issue and follow the steps to fix the issue. Then click on recheck to verify your fix and click on proceed. After you have completed the previous steps to structure your frames, this fix helps you to apply auto layout to your designs. Similarly to the first three steps, you can click on view in Figma to locate the layer. Then click on the green button to apply the fix. 
You'll notice now that all the layout has been applied to the frame. In this next fix, you'll be guided to apply responsive constraints to your design. This helps to make sure that it responds to changes in screen size. Once again, click on the green button to begin fixing. Here you'll be guided to apply options such as space between or fill container to your child elements. The preview automatically shrinks and expands so that you can preview what your changes look like. Here's another example where we use fill container and in some cases you'll need to further apply fixes to inner elements which you can proceed to do so easily as well. Once you're happy with your responsive behaviour Click on the green button to confirm the fix. The final fix helps to apply settings to ensure your design works on desktop, tablet and mobile. Click on the green button to begin fixing. You can click on the different screen size tabs to identify where your design starts to break down. You can also drag the slider over here to identify the breakpoints. In this case, on tablet size is where the cards start to get a little bit squeezed. At this point where the design breaks down, you can switch the direction so that the elements are now arranged differently for smaller screen sizes. Once you are happy with your setup, Click on the green button to complete the fix. By using the design optimizer, you can get better code output that is cleaner, shorter and fully responsive.